to a veteran insurance agent or a brand new insurance agent and you're trying to figure out a way to boost your results, to be able to boost the positive outcomes of being an insurance agent, I'm going to share with you how to change your positioning to dominate your space and to be able to increase your sales and boost your sales as an insurance agent. I hope this video helps you. And before we go, Jason, final expense. I partner with some of the most amazing agents on this planet, but one of the biggest things when you first start, the first point, and I'm going to share about four points with you here, the first point as a new insurance agent or a veteran to boost your sales, to boost your success is going to be one thing, and that is called sustainable intentionality. You have to not only be extremely intentional in everything you do, think, say, but you've got to have it be on a path that you can do it again and again and again. Your intentionality must be sustainable, okay? It must be something that you can keep up with all day, every day, okay? It's very important that you stay consistent. Consistency is king in this industry, okay? If you're just like really a big peak and then you drop because you burn out, is that going to do you any good? No, it won't, okay? So you must have a heavy degree of sustainable intention with everything you do, everything you think, okay? Doesn't matter what, you have to be sustainable, all right? This is about endurance, okay? You must be able to endure the industry. It's not about just having a sprint and then falling on your face exhausted, all right? You've got to have leads. Leads are key. You've got to have systems in place to be able to have massive amounts of leads or at least a good amount of leads constantly poured into your lap on a consistent, sustainable basis, okay? It doesn't matter how good you are if you don't have leads or people to see, all right? Doors to knock if you're a face-to-face -face insurance agent. If you're a telesales agent, you need numbers to call, right? Or an inbound lead, you got to have enough people calling you to keep you busy and productive to be a powerful insurance agent that stays in the industry, right? So leads are important, but you've also got to have very much active and sustainable intentionality in your skill building. You've got to have good scripts so that you can be sustainable and consistent. Consistency is king. The people that dominate in the insurance market are very consistent. They do the same thing all day, every day, and they just keep doing it and then keep doing it and then doing it again. And if they want to scale, okay, their business, you know what they do? They buy more leads, okay, and they get sharper. They get sharper at what they do. They develop more, okay, competence in their arena. So as an insurance agent, it is very important that you have good scripting, good training, good mentoring so that you can dominate this script okay, over and over and over again so that what you are doing intentionally is sustainable, okay? You've got to have good scripting. Follow it, follow it, follow it. It will get you to where you need to go, but make sure you're using a good script. Vet your material. A lot of these free scripts out there, sometimes they're really just not worth the paper that they're written on. Be careful, okay? I always say it, vet your trainer. But the third key here is you have to have insane amounts of discipline. You can be extremely sharp using good power scripts, using good material, but does it even matter if you're not disciplined enough to implement it, okay? I'm in the trunk of a car. Now, granted, it's a gorgeous car. By the way, it's not my car, okay? A buddy came over and went for a ride. A lot of fun, okay? Gorgeous thing. But let me tell you, that car, okay, if you look in that picture, I'm not in the driver's seat, okay? I'm in the trunk, okay? You can be in a position where you have a ton of leads, you've got the best training on the market, the best mentoring on the market, but if you don't have intentionality to get out of, okay, get out of the trunk, get in the driver's seat and push the start button, that car is wicked fast. Does it matter if I sit in the trunk and go, no, it doesn't, you guys. And guess what? As an insurance agent, if you want to boost your insurance sales, you have to be intentional in everything you do. You have to be intentional in how you purchase your leads. You have to be intentional in who you partner with, how you train, how you, okay, excel to the next level, okay? 
these glass ceilings can be broken very easily if you're trained well, coached well. They really can. You can have explosive growth. You can have massive levels of success in this industry. Okay, You absolutely can, but you must have discipline. You must have discipline and a drive. Okay, That is huge. Uh, next point I want to share with you. In this insurance environment, always has been, always will be, your actions, your actions, your actions, your actions alone will determine your success or failure when you have good leads, are properly trained, okay, and you've done the heavy lifting and you combine that with heavy discipline. You have to have massive levels of action. Your actions alone will determine whether your sales are boosted and you're going fast and you're in the driver's seat and you've taken the time to press the go button, giddy up, okay? That car's wicked beautiful, by the way. But I'm just telling you, you guys, you have to decide, are you going to sit in the trunk, okay? Are you going to sit in the trunk like somebody's luggage, okay, get driven around all over the place? Or are you going to get in the driver's seat and actually do something, okay? When you're an insurance agent, you've got to decide, okay, am I going to lick the lollipop of mediocrity or am I going to get out of the trunk, and I know you guys do. Get out of the trunk, open that beautiful door, get in that car, and go, okay? You got to go. Your actions determine your destiny. For failure or success, your actions, your drive, your grind will affect your outcome. Absolutely will. You can be trained up, coached up, skilled up, okay, using proven power scripts, proven methods, but it does not do you a lick of good if you lack action, Massive levels of action, you guys. Be consistent. Be intentional. Everything you do, be intentional. Okay? I've worked a lot of hours today. Love what I do. I am ready for tomorrow. It's not even Monday yet. Okay? Forgive me, my tea. Mmm. Woo! That's good. Nothing like some chamomile peach tea. <laughs> so I hope you guys are relaxing a little bit on your Sunday. But your actions alone will determine your boost. Okay, you got to be in a place. You got a smile on your face. You're ready to engage tomorrow for the best interest of your consumer. Monday is going to come fast. I know you guys are ready. Be intentional. Make sure that you are intentional in your lead flow. Intentional using proven, vetted power scripts that are good and have duplicatable results. If you're using a script, okay, and it ain't working at all, okay. Let me tell you, there's a lot of those. Be careful. Okay, if other men and women aren't rocking, okay, using that material, maybe you should pay attention to that, okay? Birds of a feather fly together. Make sure you're using good, vetted material, okay? Have good discipline, though. Have good discipline. Be great. Don't just be good. Boost your sales. Make sure you've got good lead flow. Increase your lead flow if you have good material and good scripting and good mentorship and you're ready, okay? Get out of the trunk. Get into the driver's seat. Put more gas in your car, that's your leads, and smash the little skinny thing. You will enjoy it, okay? It is so much fun. But you've got to get out of the trunk. Get out of the trunk. Do something. Go, go, go. Massive, massive levels of action. But you've also got to make sure you're sustainable, you guys. Be sustainable with your intensity. Don't burn out. Don't be working 20-hour days and then crashing, and then you get on the phone and you wonder why you lost your purpose. You cannot lose your purpose. Do not lose your why. The reason that you got into this business, you must maintain that. Keep that in front of you so that you can stick and stay and last, so that you can be an insurance agent that has explosive, boosted results, okay? Because you have endurance, all right? You're not somebody that knows how to sprint and then poof, falls on their face. You're running a marathon. This insurance industry, your career, it is truly a marathon, Think about it with that mindset. Train to that level. Train to that degree so that you can stick and stay and last, so that you can have good lead flow to increase your odds of success. Have good power scripts so that you can increase your certainty. Have good discipline so that you can implement all the great knowledge that you have. Okay? You have to implement you have to be disciplined. You have to have massive levels of action, especially before you fully grasp all the skill. When you're brand new, you may not be in a place where you've got a lot of confidence yet. You will. Confidence will come with success. Confidence will come with time. But you've got to have actions. 
You've got to out-hustle and out-muscle your competitor. Outwork them. Because guess what? The more repetitions, the more mentoring you have, the more skilled you are, you will have better outcomes and boosted success in the insurance industry. Do not try to reinvent the wheel. It'll hurt you and harm you. Don't do that. Be careful of lead vendors. There's a lot of lead vendors that are very low intention lead. Okay, They're not good. They're not great. Some of them are like canned tuna fish. The moment you pop that little can, it goes bad quick. Be careful of certain lead vendors. If you need help, reach out, jasonfinalexpense.com. I'll help you in any way I can. But there's a lot of stuff out there. Be careful. You don't want to cost yourself money or time. Okay? So just be cautious, but have sustainable levels. Okay? And have massive intention. That's here. Massive levels of skill, massive levels of leads, massive levels of discipline to implement all of them together. And then all you have to do once you get to the place of competence is increase your at-bats, increase your leads, and make sure you've got the endurance necessary to sustain it again and again and again. And at that point, you guys, in your career, you're doing laundry. <laughs> it's so consistent. You'll be successful. You will have boosted levels of success and confidence in what you do, how you do, and more importantly, who you help and who you serve. You're serving some of the greatest people on this planet. Make sure that you are ready to engage their needs, engage their desires. And when you understand how, who, what, and have massive levels of action, you will be not only great, but you will excel past and blow the doors off everybody else that is your competitor because you've trained up and have a sharper mind, a sharper purpose and a sharper sense of direction. I hope this helps you guys. If you need help, let me know. But I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Monday's a coming. Are you guys ready? I hope you are. I'm fired up, and I'm relaxing with chamomile tea, for goodness sakes. Monday's going to be insane. Get ready. February's around the corner, you guys. Appreciate you. Have a good night.